Ready for round two? Let's do it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the 600cc death cart mobile here on Junkyard Digs. I'm with my buddy Phoenix down at his shop and we have the golf cart, as you can see, exactly how it was in the end of episode one. We have an air box that we're going to be installing, a proper fuel pump, a much, much larger sprocket, brakes, Master cylinder, new chain, new chain, and um, a starter solenoid. Yeah, so basically all the little stupid stuff we had to fight last time should now be fixed and hopefully we can get this thing ripping and running with all of way too much horsepower and the proper gearing and then once we have it running we've got a whole bunch of tubing to build a roll cage because we're not big fans of dying and we gotta go with this canopy <laughs> hell yes <laughs> so a lot of you guys mentioned this in the comments our air box needs to be installed because uh, apparently CV carburetors, constant velocity carbs, like to have static air and a joint chamber between all the carbs to help balance them and run properly. So, Phoenix has got a stock air box to one of these bikes. Uh, we're gonna flip, this is kind of the upside down we think, so we're gonna flip that around, get that air box on, and that should help us run a lot better. Can we fix our fuel leak while we're in there? Or do we just ignore it? Put a bunch more. of more gasket maker on it, call it good. <laughs> I tried to find a new crossover tube for these carbs, could not find one. I could find a whole set of carbs with it, but they want like 200 bucks for it. It's twice of what we paid for the golf cart. <laughs> oh, That looks much more appropriate. <laughs> so I think what I want to do, we can get the airbox mounted on like that. And I do have another seat, an actual seat, golf cart seat. Oh, you have a whole nother golf cart now, by the way. What, Shh, what is that? doesn't know about that one yet either. <laughs> oh, no. So I paid a hundred bucks for this too. Oh, Lord. Yeah, because I sent it to you that morning. I'm like, hey, this would be a funny joke. I'll offer the guy a hundred bucks for it. He says yes. So I had to go pick it up. I think this one should be the dedicated wheeling machine. You know what would also be cool is one with reverse. The best option would be four-wheeler engines, not motorcycle engines. Because yeah, as other people said in the comments, uh, motorcycle engines don't have baffling in the oil pan to keep oil from sloshing because if you think about a motorcycle it sits upright all the time when you're riding and the only time it's not upright is going around a turn well that centrifugal force is still holding that oil level in the pan yeah. for the most part but apparently that's why when people motorcycle swap golf carts and go-karts all the time they always blow up so put a quarter of a quart extra <laughs> what I was saying is we got the stock seat on this yeah and my plan is to put the stock seat on and then just cut a hole around oh. this and then the intake will just kind of poke out of the hole because there's plenty of room here to yeah. sit. And then when we build the cage, we can just build like a little handle here to kind of hold your butt from sliding off of yeah, it. Yeah, that'd be good. I'm looking at the seating position for the steering wheel and it's, you're still going to be a little off center. Yeah. yeah. You'll have that. It's okay. <laughs> just want to get it running, hang on for dear life, and you know, call it a day. The ratchet strap worked great last time, it'll work great this time. Perfect. That's going to be a thousand times. Look, we even got a little trim ring. This is, this is way too nice for this thing. This will be at least for the $105 when we're done. <laughs> Any day of the week. Any day of the week, any time of the day. So this right here is our secret weapon. How many teeth is that? 54. It's gonna be violent. <laughs> Let's see the comparison. Holy balls. I can't. We're gonna have to cut this tab off here so it'll clear. That was uh, a lot looser than I wanted them to be. Well, I remember it kept falling off, didn't it? So this oh, is what they had. They just had a, a grade five bolt with a the pry factory nut as a spacer, <laughs> and then this, and you can see it's just eating away at everything. Oh wow! Oh, look at this. <laughs> is that? That's a ten millimeter wrench holding the caliper on. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, can't forget to, to remount our twisted uh, oil cooler there. It's where it can actually get some airflow. It's doing a lot right here. Oh, another thing that we found out. So I happened to be up there 
And I turned around and looked at that Yamaha Blaster. Same rear end. I originally thought it was a player's rear end. And then I'm like, oh, maybe it's a Honda because the Honda shock bolts up to it. No. So it's a golf cart with a Honda motor and a Honda four-wheeler cradle, maybe? Yep, Kawasaki Ninja exhaust. <laughs> and a Yamaha blaster gun. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I definitely need to use the GPS on my phone to see the mile an hour now yeah. on it this time. I did the math last time it came out to be, you passed me at like three quarters of the way through first gear at 45 mile an hour. And then I calculated out, based off the gearing, the tires, that this thing should technically do 132 miles an hour. With the old sprocket? With this setup with the old sprocket. With the new one, the different size tires, top speed should be 85. Which is still twice as fast as we need to go. Yeah. This will be great. Oh, probably get my safety gear on. <laughs> Here you go. Somebody's gonna comment. You needed that. Don't <laughs> cut that off. You don't need it where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> Some talents here in Iowa, you can legally drive your golf cart. I don't know if this is legally a golf cart. Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> you got the little canopy, we'll strap a couple golf clubs to the back. <laughs> <laughs> Playing puzzle here. You go that way. <laughs> we just keep making d <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we gotta swap ends while rolling these through. There we go. Boom. Done. Ta-da. Phoenix is gonna put our chain on. I've got all of our electrical wrapped up. I even went so far as to uh, loom it. It's it's loomed. Fancy. Man, how did I manage to tangle this again? <laughs> <laughs> I ended up with <laughs> So since we're lazy and don't want to take the front cover off where the sprocket is. If you tie a little string, wire, or something, you can feed it around the sprocket because if you don't do that, you start pushing in there, it'll just start binding up and you can't get the chain around it. So this way, you can help pull it, keep it tight against the sprocket, and make your life a lot easier. The right chain that's what i'm starting to wonder so what you want to do is take your side cover off and then <laughs> <laughs> it worked we got it through we're just having problems with this chain maybe being a little different dimensions it's hitting something so but like the whole the whole string idea works uh it doesn't fit the tooth does it mm -mm. well what the hell's up with that that's weird why does it, it fits this one perfect well that didn't work Everything's closed because right now it's a Sunday. So tomorrow I'm gonna go into town and see what we can find for a chain. So we're 10 links short and we don't have anything on hand, so. And we have a 520 rear sprocket and a 420 front. That's what I think's going on. Well, we wanna check our wiring at least on this before we call her a day here. Yeah, Let's see if this starts. All right, let's see if the internet's right. Does the air box out? Wanting choked. All right, go for it. It's a, it's a little smoother, it's still got some definite issues. I think it just needs a little bit idle tuning. Let's get some chain tomorrow and uh, put the tires on, take this thing for a rip again, and then take her over to our shop for fabrication. Get a roll cage. Yep. No, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. We're back again. Last night we got it running. 
You put a fender on it, just I'm assuming set it there. <laughs> I didn't want to like that, but that looks great. Yeah, and so, like I think once obviously we get it same color, it's gonna look pretty legit. Well I went ahead and pulled the tires off that Yamaha blaster that I mentioned works for this axle. So here's what what we had on it. Look how much bigger those are. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a lot better. In other news, I went down to the uh, motorcycle store this morning and said, you guys have any of this chain? And they said, well, what size is it? And I said, ah, yes, see, that's it, we don't know. <laughs> They're like, well, it's written on the links. And sure enough, I didn't know this somehow. Etched into the side of at least the master link is the chain size. Um, there it is. Yeah, right here in the middle it says 530 and this one did as well. So it was a 530 chain. I said, you got one? And they said, yeah, it's $170. No. Do you got a different one? And then they started digging around and they found one like on the back shelf. They're like, how about this one? It's been here for 20 years, it's 30 bucks. Perfect. Let's get that one. It's still too short. It is, I think, about five leagues longer, but I think we need about five more. So I might think as well that... take a few out of the old one and just yep. extend the new one. Yes. Let's make it happen. All right. Oh. There's a nail in this tire. <laughs> That's okay. It's fine. Still hold there. We've got our master link in here. Unfortunately, since this master link, this was an endless chain, and the old chain was a link <laughs> chain. <laughs> yeah, you can already see what we're doing. The master link doesn't protrude far enough to get the clip in, so we're just gonna tack that cover onto those pins, and we'll have a chain, which means we'll be ready to rip this thing around for the first time, hopefully Fire. running correctly and geared correctly. All right, I'll go get the gasoline soaked rag. All right. That's it, dude. We're ready for another test drive. Yeah, I mean, it should run a lot better. Still don't have brakes, but. Oh, yeah, that's right. Worry about those. Details. Today. Details, details. Yep. Let's get this thing outside and take it for a rip. Let's see it. Oh no. It's perfect. <laughs> the freaking rooster tails. Holy crap. commenters you guys are right it needed an air box <laughs> it runs perfect <laughs> the freaking rooster tails were 10 foot high and 15 feet long that's aggressive <laughs> <laughs> steering goes out of the window it's just like which way you go <laughs> I could probably launch it off that. It takes off so much nicer. I, you know, obviously the gear change was a big help too. The air box, like everybody Huge. said. Yep, you, you know, guys nailed it. That RPM, it run, it ran good before on the very top end. It didn't, it struggled down low. And now I don't have any issue at all down low. I, I can't tell the RPM where I'm at either. I it, think it's just rev limiter. It hits, <laughs> it hits quick. Let's see this thing throw some dirt. This is it. This is the end. This is where Phoenix dies. Dude, you gotta do it one more time. Oh, it even handles two people well. 
Yeah, this is perfect cruising speed. Like, this, yeah, this is absolutely perfect cruising gear speed. You're only going to use like three gears. Oh, yeah. There you go. Actually, you know what? Before we take it over to my shop, I think there's one more thing we need to do on those old tires. Yeah, say goodbye. <laughs> Let's convert uh, fuel into noise and smoke. That was awesome. <laughs> Hell, we should have went for second gear, apparently. Hello. It moved the forklift like an inch right at the end. Did it really? <laughs> yeah, it, I think it slid just a bit when you're letting off. The shock mounts broke when I jumped it. <laughs> <laughs> They're uh, stick booger welds that they both did them, previously. Dude. It snapped both of them off. Well, we better fix that. Too. Yep. <laughs> I guess we already know what's weak. <laughs> You've got a box. There's some steel on the ground behind you. There's a golf cart. Most importantly, we need you to put this shirt on as fast as you can. Go, go. <laughs> right over the switch. It's, it's Iowa, it's December. <laughs> Done, time. You've got the hat. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I got just this. Got a big head, all right? A lot of knowledge up there. Let's do this. All right, <laughs> we've got our Rogue Fab equipment. These guys hooked us up once again. Sent, yeah. oh, let's, let's see the back, let's see the back. Woo, Rogue Fabricator. They sent you what looks like a staff shirt, dude. They must Hell have liked yeah. you. Hire me on. <laughs> <laughs> so these guys have come through once again and sent us, what do we get this time, one and a half inch die? Yep. Yes, one and a half on 4.5 CLR. Phoenix has basically become our dedicated uh, Rogue Fab tubing bender operator because he understands it a lot better than me and he can make some beautiful stuff in no time with zero space to work in <laughs> thanks to that Rogue Fab bender. So yeah. absolutely check these guys out. Uh, roguefab.com they make the best bender on the market and Notchers. the best notcher on the market and this thing is incredible it will clamp on a bend which I'm told is unheard of like no one else can do that so. I've, I used I started with the Harbor Freight ones and get the job done <laughs> you uh, know it's not a great job this not done, a great but. job a lot of slop in it but these things are really precise, and that cage we built in the Le Mans was... It, that went together in the equivalent of an afternoon. Oh, yeah. Because you took, I think you took like an hour or two, watched some videos on Rogue Fab's YouTube channel. Check them out. They're also on Instagram. Uh, watched some stuff on there, and then went, okay, and just whipped out the best cage I've ever seen. <laughs> and while I did like a control arm. Yep. <laughs> it was incredible. And speaking of their social medias, there's something I've literally never mentioned that I really need to. They do huge, huge giveaways many times a year on Instagram. Yep. Here recently they just gave away two $2,500 bender kits, which is massive. Absolutely go give Rogue a follow on Instagram, subscribe to their YouTube, keep an eye out for those giveaways because they are, like I said, massive. Oh yeah, you could start a business with a bender. You, you could, literally. I mean, you could build awesome golf carts. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go dig that bender out. We just gotta move like 23 wheelers in a snowmobile. Well, who put all that shit there? You. Oh, I got this. What? <laughs> oh, I forgot the steering wheel. Oh, okay. And the seat somewhere in there. I was like, this looks like a three-year-old drawing a car. <laughs> You know what? It's not about the artistic ability. <laughs> I want that on a shirt. It's not about the artistic ability. <laughs> what, what's the front of that notebook say? Phoenix's is coloring <laughs> There's some good ideas in this, all right? <laughs> that reminds me, we definitely gotta put a front bumper on this thing too. Ooh, yes. I'm probably gonna run into something at some point in time, so. We could do that with some one inch. We got the dies for it. Yeah. Do we have any inch tubing? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but you know. Uh, yeah, we'll get to that when we get we'll to get that. We'll get that when we get to that. I mean, what? this is gonna take us all of a week. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start the rear hoop. 
because that's super easy. It's literally like one, two, three, four bends. Weld that in. <laughs> super easy. You just got 16 bends in it. It's the confidence. Maybe 16 I'll learn bends at 42.89. <laughs> then we just need to notch a tube up here to tie those two together. Put a cross brace through it and slap a roof on that thing. And put the canopy on. <laughs> it's going to be on tonight. What have we got? What's the time? Like 11. I can do it. Well, uh, you remember anything <laughs> about this? Last I recall, we did some engine modifications to get it run a little better. And then I think we were, judging by the context in front of us, that we were uh, doing some math on bends or something for our vendor, and we're starting to make a cage. Yep, I had a game plan. I bet, I bet it's in the notebook somewhere. There's a notebook. Oh, perfect. It looks like a three-year-old drew all over it. That was definitely not me. <laughs> So yeah, uh, we're back, finally, working on the golf cart. Like I said, it's been a year since yep. we touched this. Uh, we literally finished in that last clip, said, all right, let's quit for the night and come back tomorrow because I think something might've popped up. And we never did. We never <laughs> did come back. You were very busy for the last year. You moved. Yep. Uh, I moved out into the country. We both bought houses. Uh, your business got really busy because of that golf cart video. Exactly. Had a few new customers, and it's just been a wild ride, and we've never gotten back to this thing. But we're finally going to work on it today. Let's, uh, we need some air in that tire, but let's air that up, push this thing out to where we can work on it, and figure out where the hell we left off. All right, sounds like a plan. So I have a pie times two times four and a half with a great picture of a golf cart from a year ago. Do we remember what any of that means? No, absolutely not. <laughs> So we're starting from scratch. Starting over, new page. So I remember we do have this nice like tubular. I don't know about nice. Well. We have this tubular. We have thing. a tubular frame of some <laughs> sort. And that's what we're gonna weld to to come out and up and around. I guess I think the first thing to start with is getting our main hoop done. Then just brace off of there. And start bracing it every yeah. way. So that way I don't fall out when this <laughs> thing goes over. <laughs> Well, to dust off the old rope fab tube bender. I think we've got a box of dies and stuff here that we never even finished opening from the looks of it. Yeah, one inch. I think, was it one inch tubing? Inch and a half tubing is I know what we're doing for the main hoop and then possibly inch for like three years now. Have any inch tubing? Squinting down there for safety, boy. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I got these tubes here. I'm gonna weld these to the frame, just like so. So I have some outriggers for our for our hoop. Yep. And then that way, instead of trying to bend this here in the hoop, I just gotta go from here up and over. Sweet. Got nothing. Oh, hang on. Kevin, turn that on. There we go. I don't know what you want it set to. It's just on, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, it looks good enough to me. <laughs> Alright, that might that, that might help a little bit. I was like the wall looks pretty good, but there's definitely no gas in it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's much better. Damn. That's the best weld on this whole thing. <laughs> okay, well, good, because that's the one your life depends on. <laughs> Make sure you crash on the left. <laughs> yeah. should go ahead and weld that shock back in place, too, right now, so we can set it on the ground. Hmm. I'm not going to lie, there's not a lot to weld there. That's still we just, metal. We just got to weld the crack back and call it a day. Oh. <laughs> okay, ready to see your handiwork? Yeah, you got jacked out. The it, it immediately snapped off. Hey, the weld held on the top at least. <laughs> it, it didn't last a half a second. <laughs> I guess we need to redo that whole thing. Hey, there we go. We'll do some gusseting on that when we get to the point, but for now we just need the floor jack out of the way so we can do some caging. Yep. Let's do it. All right, Phoenix did a bunch of big brain math. Let's see how correct he is or isn't. 
Step one, cut the stick. Yeah, careful Phoenix, you almost caught the Nova on fire. Shit. <laughs> That'd be a real shame. We got all my measurements pulled, so I'll just start drawing it out on this tube and slap it in the bender. Uh, I think we've got everything set up right. Hopefully. We're gonna find out. Hit the go button, sir. this on zero? No, I thought you did. Oh, it's definitely above a 90 degree, isn't it? I can pull it out. I was going to say, do we have a Road Fab unbender? <laughs> Whoops. It's been a little bit since we've done this. <laughs> All right, well, let's throw the clamp on our other bend and we'll leave this one here for right now. We're definitely not going to have to resume that bend. No. <laughs> but once in a while, if you don't overbend them, you do. And you can leave your clamps on and resume a bend at any point. Just casually bending a 13 foot pipe in the middle of the shop. Easy peasy. That's the beauty of a vertical bender. The only thing you need is ceiling space. <laughs> Six. No. <laughs> what can I say? It's been 12 months since I've had to think this hard. <laughs> Here's what we do. We just do what I did on the Bronco when I had this exact problem. And you put a little 45 down at the end. So I it was just comes just, back in. I was going to just weld another tube on top of that. <laughs> <laughs> we got options. Yeah. We'll figure it out. We'll show you guys what we come up with. There we go. Found um, our solution. What's that? Uh, <laughs> uh, one of my less prouder moments. It's on par. All right, it's been a little bit. I've been welding up a brace down there. What have you been up to? You know, I was trying to bend some too. <laughs> huh. I don't want to be one to speculate, but I think the measurements might have been wrong somewhere. By about two and a half feet. <laughs> It's like I have absolutely never done this a day in my life. <laughs> you go back to math class. And you go... I think we need to go get a beer and call Rogue. We've done this multiple times and never had problems. Man, like, other we did dude... the whole cage in the Le Mans in like an hour and a half, first try. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even think about that no, cage. It, it's, it's, it's like it. perfect. This one, I mean, I did nail the bend where it had to go. It is a nice 90. But somehow I got two extra feet in the middle yeah, and a foot extra. <laughs> great looking bend, it's just over here. Man, we're good at this shit. Yeah. It was a stick of car riders. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's on par. Why is the left side so much high? At this point, whatever. It is what it is. This is a prototype. <laughs> yeah, before the hit production. Before the hit production. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> sideways cricket. <laughs> what is this freaking thing? Let's see the, the head height we got here. You got plenty of headroom. Like regular oh, yeah. golf cart level almost. Not bad. Oh, that's pretty good. Professional. Needs, needs a spoiler. All right, time for some cross bracing. <laughs> well, Phoenix Wells, the first of our cross braces. I've got the Rogue Fab Versa notcher over here. Uh, this is a revolutionary notcher because of these teeth design right there. It allows you to clamp on a bend and cut on a bend at any angle. Really heavy construction. It's got this like one inch arbor through here. All on bearings, it's, it it kicks ass. Specifically, kicks the ass of my tiny little boss drill because I forgot the other one at the house. Preferably the plug into the wall variety. Who needs a welding table? I don't know, this has devolved into a lawless nation. Let's see how good this weld is after I said that. <laughs> oh, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> We're making progress. Yeah. On and these on, 
And even this, look at that. A okay. functional aesthetic piece to hold Not your ass pull in. pull out of it and you no. got something to hang out to. This looks pretty good. It's like we kind of almost bought a tape measure before we started this project. <laughs> Oh, As I weld stuff together. I, yeah, the theme at this point is everything's butt welded in the middle. <laughs> Minimal money, a lot of fun. <laughs> Minimal money, maximum fun. Let's make that a t-shirt. Yep. I think I got it. Phoenix, this is the last bend. This is our last shot. This is when you always perfect it, on the very last thing. Third time's the charm? <laughs> I know I got it. We're gonna use this whole piece. What? Start from the center. <laughs> Oh, I see what we're doing. So instead of efficiently more... using tube, we're just gonna try to make two sticks 48 inches apart that go the right <laughs> direction and then cut them all the length, is what you're saying? Pretty much. Okay, okay. we're cheating this big time. But damn it, if we aren't gonna get one of these right. This one's gonna be spot on. There will be no welding in the middle. So far, this is probably a terrible Rogue Fab promotion. I mean, it bends the tube perfectly. That's exactly what I was gonna say. It does a hell of a job bending the tube. But man, we're not sponsored we... by Stanley or whoever. <laughs> Your tape measure's wrong. That's my problem. Oh. I, had my, I need my tape measure. Do you have a, spe a special, yep. just every third inch is missing? It just that would've got that one, right? <laughs> all right, please, let's just make this one bend right. Is this supposed to be on that line? Oh, I think we are. Come on. No, I'm dead serious. All right, no, I think I'm doing it differently. This, oh, God. This is going to be right. This is going to be right. It's going to be right. I'm going for it. Usually I'd say I believe or trust you, but I don't at this point. No, it's, no offense. This is funny here. Oh. Hey, you didn't even close the ramp. I'm going home. What happened, Phoenix? <laughs> the lock, safety lock. Well, it's, it's the auto thing, so you don't have to sit there and hold it. Well, it got stuck open, and I think we got 102 degree bend. Yeah, that's a, that's like a 98. We gotta say this. This isn't from Road Map, is it? No, I think that's actually a Harbor Freight uh, cylinder. Yeah. So, so not on them. Yet again. Not on them. On that one. <laughs> Yeah, we try to do the second bend, I guess. Get the chops off. <laughs> okay, checking our work. Is it right? No. <laughs> There's still time to salvage this. All we, ha all we have to do... In my defense, I've drank like a case tonight. What? There's, <laughs> there's a full case of beer over there. <laughs> Hell, all your right, second we, one's sitting there full. We haven't had enough tonight. All we have to do is make a stick over here go that way. 44, 48, what was it? It's four feet. 47 and three quarters inches away from that one. Yep. Easier Let's... said than done. <laughs> how far, okay, how far is it from here, center of this pipe, to like right here at the end of that bend? Yeah. Four and a half, which is our center line radius. That makes sense. So we need to come. Four and a half plus four and a half. Nine. But the tubing take up, because the, the bend. Not if we're going off the center of that. No, you don't get a point at me like you're smart. <laughs> this is making sense, but no, it's, it's all not. coming out wrong. <laughs> you keep saying center line, and then the block's on the wrong side of the... That was an easy mistake there. I should. I even had the arrow there. Yeah, put it on this side. It okay. would have been perfect otherwise. We've already consumed four and a half inches, so 47 and a half minus four and a half. 43 inches. We're going to take off another four and a half from that. We need to make a mark at 39 and a half inches. Let me think. The line was on the outboard and it was too far that way. So measure that from that uh, line. Is this five and a quarter or is this five and a quarter? Okay, so 39 and a half inches from that line or from the end of that bend, not the line. We're gonna place a block and five and a quarter after that. All right, I'll hold the camera and I'll watch this time. <laughs> I just pulled that whole thing out of my ass. So let's see how this goes. What's 39 and a half plus five and a quarter is 44 and three quarters. Yep. Put a mark right there at 44 and three quarters. I'm not gonna try to do this twice. I'm confident-ish. My brain just went, here you go. So let's, we're gonna put that there. And when it doesn't work, we'll get the chops off. Worst, this is not gonna work. <laughs> All right, that's so it. Let's switch things into engineering mode. Take a sip of beer and do some math.
That's right. You can smell the mat. What's the string back? Uh, like three and a half ish, I thought. Twice on this one instead of cut oh, shit. It So I figured it out. I said in the clip, I said I'm not gonna second guess myself, I'm not gonna redo any of the math. We did have the block in the wrong spot. Actually, no, I don't think we even had the block in the wrong spot. I'm not sure on that one. Right before we threw it in the machine, Phoenix said, Oh, you're, you gotta you gotta flip it around to bend it over here. And I was like, Oh yeah. Maybe he's right. And I second guessed myself and screwed up. And I had it right the first time. And it would have been Literally exactly 47 and a half inches because we were off one center line radius and one block. So, uh, I'll get the chops off. I'll get another one of these. <laughs> That's all it took. A little bit of extra math there, but we got our 47 and three quarters inch. One way or another, I suppose, it matches the rest of the cart. Yep. <laughs> you don't want to be inconsistent. That's when you have problems. We'll weld those up. I think we got one more brace right here. And that's it. All right. Last piece. Wait. No. <laughs> I you, think you notched it. Are you <laughs> Damn it. Any chance it's too long? I mean, it is. A okay. too long. I screwed up twice, which gives me a chance to we fix it. We can always it. move it that way, too. No, I'll just notch it the correct direction. It'll fit. <laughs> yeah, that's right this time. Eh, good enough. There we go. Last piece. Perfect. Let's weld that in. We'll see everyone tomorrow morning. See if we can get this thing running. Oh, hello there. It's the next day. It is. We got ourselves a fuel tank mounted up and plumbed. We re zip tied our oil cooler to where it's doing nothing. It's essentially a heat sink since it's just up against that piece of metal over there that'll hopefully be cold because it's like 23 degrees outside. Yep. We've got bumper stickers all over this thing. Um, More zip ties than we had before. Yep. Put Secure. air in the tire. We'll get some gas in this thing and then hit the key and see if she runs. There you go. Tighten her up. We might have to pull the key out. What the hell? It just broke. <laughs> oh. Where'd you buy this? Amazon? Uh, oh. What? <laughs> oh, shit. Parts are just falling out of it. It's all the keyways. Maybe it'll still work. Shove her in there. Oh, good. <laughs> is there a choke? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think we got a choke here somewhere. Oh, it's right here. Is this lever? It's coming back to me. Oh, oh. I hear one. Here, um, let me plug your, plug your air horns and make it suck fuel. Oh, throttle. The old manual choke method. I did not expect that to happen. I thought it'd be a nightmare. Well, let's put her on a trailer and go for a rip. Let's do it. Well, we made it. Barely. About died four times on the way here because the roads were so bad. Regardless, we made it here alive. So now oh, it's... Oh, no. What do you mean, oh, no? <laughs> the valve stem snapped off. What? I was just going to say it's time for the golf cart to try to kill us. How did that happen? Put the rim on backwards. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this one, the valve's on the outside. 
It hit that. It hit this right here. Oh. <laughs> that was the first thing we did yesterday was that tire. And honestly, it was downhill from there. That should have yeah. been a sign. Well, we're driving on a flat tire, I guess. Yep. Just don't let the fence touch the ground. All right. Wheelie the whole way. Wheelie the whole way. <laughs> Yep, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I did tell him don't let the tire touch the ground. <laughs> you wanna go for a second? Oh, try a second? Yeah. I completely was all steering at the top of the RPM. Pull it back. Ah, I can't get it to do anything. It's pretty wild. Yeah, I guess you wanna get first. Oh, the brake fell off. The key's gone? <laughs> the key is completely gone. <laughs> here, here. Use the... <laughs> oh, no, you, just, you got a new key. <laughs> get some new pliers. Yeah, I, I tried to get you in the second, but I can't get the shift lever to move. Yeah. You might be able to get with the pliers. I think that's second. We're gonna find out. We'll try. Four. I'll toss you these ones. <laughs> Oh, hey, did you ever tighten the lug nuts on this wheel? I thought I did. No, nope. <laughs> All four of them hanging off. We'll just, you know. Just finger tight. I mean, obviously, they're not that necessary. It's not like we're going 15 miles here. The <laughs> rear wheels probably are. <laughs> Yeah, second gear is a little bit more violent. For yeah, sure. I can tell. I really don't think you need any more. I thought I was gears. going right through the trees there for a second. I thought you were going through me. <laughs> I was going to figure out where our rear tire goes flat. It was bald. No. <laughs> That's the nail sticking out of it. <laughs>
pretty good. Oh, you get a little warm. It's starting to blow antifreeze up here. I think that should be our uh, stopping point for the day, I suppose. Yeah, before I get a little too brave. Need to get a radiator in this thing and yep. maybe some foot nets. Foot nets, gotta get that fuel leak fixed for sure. A wider rear end. Nah, I, I kinda like this one. <laughs> we do have a radiator for it uh, with an electric fan set up to cool this down. Uh, I got new tires for it. There's oh, a I whole got pile of parts. I got brakes for it. Yeah, we got a lot oh, more that yeah, could be done with this yet. Brakes, I suppose. And if you guys want to see all of that go onto the golf cart and it reach its true, pure form, whatever that's going to be, make sure you subscribe to Phoenix's channel, Wrench and Redneck, here on YouTube. I'll put a link right up here right now. And check out part three of the golf cart video, which will be out soon. Last time we said that it was a year. But if you subscribe, you'll find out. As for now, this thing's still alive. This guy's still alive. I'm still alive. <laughs> I think it was a pretty good run there. Nobody got hit. It didn't tip over. Didn't even break anything. No. Huge thanks to Rogue Fab for sending us the bender. They make an excellent bender with a ton of attachments. They have an excellent machine. The M600 is awesome. Uh, if you guys know what you're doing, you can build some fantastic stuff. So huge thanks to them. Check them out, roguefab.com. That's for us here at Junkyard Digs and Wrench and Redneck. We'll see you next time. Peace. Well, uh, I'll drive the, off into the sunset. Into the sunset. <laughs>